Welcome everyone, this is Zan Ta with Repo Products. Today's video is an update to the Autodesk accounts video that I created a while back. I wanted to make a new one since it's been a while and just to make sure everybody is current with what's going on on your Autodesk accounts. Here I am in Google Chrome. If I want to get to my accounts, I can just go to uh, manage.autodesk.com forward slash home. When you do, it'll ask you to log in. Since I'm already logged in, this is what I see. Uh, so the way it works is on the left hand side, you have a lot of navigation functionality. And on the main page, this is going to display the data you need to see. So you'll see right off the bat um, a greeting and your name. Whether you're logged in as a contract manager, primary admin, software coordinator, or end user will dictate what you can and cannot see on the left hand side. So the higher up you are in your administrative privileges, the more you can see and do. So I'm considered primary admin, so I can do pretty much everything. Uh, if you're the contract manager, you have total control. You'll see three main slides right here, one for any updates that are available, any support cases that you have, and the ability to buy products directly through Autodesk account. And then over here on the left hand side, like I said, you have navigation. Um, and as you click each one, this page will refresh and change. So before we get into the left side, look here on the main side and you can see as you scroll, it'll tell you your team insights data of how much software you have unassigned or underassigned, and then getting some quick links to uh, team insights for admin, uh, what is flexible pay, um, things like that nature, and then resources as well. You also have the Autodesk Assistant AI engine running in the background to help you if you just need to ask questions. To get to your products, go to all products and services over here. The page will switch and give you a list of all the tiles of products that you have access to. If you are a contract manager, you will see everything. If your software is subscription named user based, you will only see the software that's assigned to you from the contract manager. If your software is network based, you will not see it. Only the contract manager when they are logged in will see that data. So here, under all products and services, you can see all the tiles for all the different applications. So if you want to dig into a specific application, say for example, Revit, you just scroll down, it's all alphabetical, click the actual Revit text, and you'll get into the tile. In here, it's going to list all the versions you have available from the most current back to three releases, so 25 to 22. You can pick any one that you want, and the page will refresh slightly. You can specify whether to install directly or click this little arrow to get to direct download to get to all the zipped executable installation files. This is better for you to do because you don't have to worry about using the download manager or web install method as well. Under the updates here, it's going to list all the different updates that are available that you can download and install individually. Any extensions and then libraries. So especially with Revit for 24 and 25, you need to download and install the library separately. So here I would want to go to US English uh, and look for it and then download and install it. So here it says US English content for Revit 2025. It's two gigs in size and you click download and then you'll download and double click it to install it. If you go to product updates, this will list all the updates that are available for all the applications you have access to. And you can filter here as well if you need to. So there's a long list. If you're looking for a specific update for a specific product, it's easier for you to go to all products and services, go to the product that you're dealing with, and then go to its updates because it's already being filtered there. Custom install is where you want to create any custom web-based installation packages to push down. So here we've done some for Inventor Pro, for 2022, for 2021, and for 2022 as well as a test. So you can go through the process of creating an installation package, just follow the wizard. Under user management, 
if you click by user this is going to list all the users that you have in your company's account this is something the CAD manager or primary admin uses and here this is where you go to create users so you can invite users put in their name first and last and their email address and then if you want to include them to a particular group you can do so as well once you send the invitation then it'll say account status invited the user will get the email click the link the account will be authenticated and then it will say verified when that's done you as the contract manager or primary admin can go to that particular user's account details and see what applications you wish to assign to that user so here under mine it shows I have several applications assigned to me already and the ones down below that say not assigned these will tell you how many seats are available and if you want to assign say uh, 3ds max to the top list here to my account I can just click assign and it will jump from this line here up to here now this has four seats so it'll do that but it'll still have 3ds max as a line item but it'll say three seats available now for subscription name based accounts you have to do it this way you have to go and create the users you have to set up which applications are assigned to each user otherwise they cannot use the product they have to log into their Autodesk account and the software will authenticate and function for them to use if it is network based it's a different story you will have to download and install LM tools a custom network license file and go down that process um, I do have a video on my YouTube channel on specifically that network deployment installation methodology. If you go to user management by product, this is going to list all the products that are available. And if you say, for example, scroll down to Revit, you can see um, four seats are available, five seats total. Um, assigned user is one Dave Young. See? And then you can click assign user here and assign other people if you want to. You can just type in their email address and then hit assign and that application is now assigned to that user. See, since I don't need it, since I already have it in the AEC collection, I'm going to unassign it. You can also do user management by group where you are creating a group and including users in that group so you can manage everything on a group level. Here we have one already created for us as application engineers and we can click inside and we can see all the users that are part of that group. Okay, And I can add users and look at the assignments. If I want to create a new group, I just click create group and follow the wizard. For billing and orders, because I am a primary admin and CMs can see this as well, you can go to subscriptions and contracts. And look at all of your subscriptions and contract numbers and what software is assigned to each one okay you can go to quotes as well if you have any quotes out that are outstanding any invoices order history payment methodology things like that under the reporting section you can go to activity log and you can see uh, what is going on on your account you can go to insights as well to see all the metadata of insights. So here you've got team insights, you've got, and it lists what insight data you have, you've got my insights, and then you have my usage details as well. For us as Autodesk resellers, our applications are unique, so we will not see any insight data here, and we will not see any insight data here, okay? So only those that are customers will have this data available for them to work with. We can go under usage report, and we can see the team and the subscriptions and the assigned seats and the flex tokens and everything a really big snapshot of what's going on you have user notifications which is new <clears throat> and you can set up any inactive users and see if they're being using the products properly or not you have seat usage that gets into what are all the products and uh, who are the users? How many users? We can look at it from a summary standpoint, from a product standpoint, and from a by user standpoint as well. And we can look at it from a three month, six month, nine month, or one year um, time frame. 
token usage for those of you who are buying and using tokens. You can see your summary here and by product and by user. And then whatever your balance is as well, which is also brand new to the interface. Down under support and learning, you can go to your support cases, you can go to ask the assistant, you can go to forums, which takes you to forums.autodesk.com, you can go to learning and certification, which takes you to the portal for if you want to get certified in AutoCAD or Revit or Civil 3D or any other, other applications. You can click the link for Autodesk University and it will take you to AU's main website. And this will basically give you the ability to see what's going on with Autodesk University. This year's Autodesk University is being held in San Diego. And actually call for proposals are now open. So if you're interested in um, providing a class, then submit a class. And that's basically, in a short nutshell, what your Autodesk accounts is and how to get to the software um, and how to download it and install it and use it, okay? So hopefully this will be a, um, a good video for you to learn and watch very quickly to get a good, quick understanding of what you have in your Autodesk account. As always, just reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns. And thank you very much for watching.